The member for Mallee. Member for Mallee thank, has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Deputy Prime Minister, the Minister for Agriculture and Water Resources. Will the Deputy Prime Minister update the House on the impacts increasing power prices are having on the agricultural sector in regional Victoria? Is the Minister aware of any other threats to the jobs of hard-working regional Australians? The Deputy Prime Minister. Um, Mr Speaker, I thank the honourable member for his question. And, uh, I know that I've got the full attention of the uh, opposition, including the member for Grainler, who seems to have found a new seat in the aisle, which is great to see, out there talking to his friends, I'm no doubt collecting the numbers. The Deputy Prime but Minister will bring himself to his answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, doubt, no doubt doing the numbers in the aisle. Um, but it's great. The, the member for Mallee is, is very aware of how much agriculture has contributed, contributed to uh, Victor Victoria's economy. Uh, in from, from 12-13, 11.6 billion uh, to 14-15, 13.1 billion, Mallee is yet another reflection of the turnaround in agriculture, whether it's wheat or almonds or sheep and lambs, grapes, wine contract, barley, wool, dairy, cattle and calves. It's all part of that massive turnaround which gave us a 23.7% uh, increase in the, uh, in the figures to, the, to, to December 2016. A massive increase, three to four, five times of any other sector, and agriculture is doing its part. But of course there is a threat to this, and of course one of the major threats is the price of power. The price of power has been going through the roof because it's been incredibly badly mani managed. And what we're seeing is in, in places, and this is a very topical, Hayfield Mill, for Australian sustainable hardwoods. When 2016 it was 1.3 million, 2017 it was 2.1 million, a 62 per cent increase, a 62 per cent increase in power. And if it wasn't just the power that was causing problems, it was also the Labor Party of Victoria's inability to deal with the possums, uh, because they are putting possums before people. They are making sure that Australian working men and women, Australian working men and women are losing their jobs, are losing their jobs because the Australian Labor Party has decided, has decided that the votes of St Kilda are vastly better than the working men and women at the, hay, at the Hayfield, at the Hayfield uh, timber mills. And it seems interesting in the past when the member for Maribyrnong would go down to Tasmania and rightly, rightly so, to look after miners, look after men, working men who have been stuck down a mine. But he's not going down to Victoria to look after the working men and women who are about to lose their job at the Hayfield Mill. No, he has no care about them. We haven't got boo out of them. They've never come to the dispatch box. They don't care about them, just like the 750 who are going to lose their job at the Hazelwood Power, at the Hazelwood Power Station. What is the Labor Party's response to that? When will they start standing up for working men and women? When will they start taking it seriously? When will the member for Griffith start standing up for, for, for forestry workers? For forestry workers? And when will, when will, when, and when will the member for Hunter start standing up for people in the coal industry? When will the, mem when will the member for Gordon start standing up for his brother? Start helping out his brother and actually standing up for workers? When will they stop giggling with the Greens and start standing up for working men and women?